Hello ingredients. Welcome to video number one on my video series of open source social network otherwise known as OSSN. So let's go ahead and jump right in um, to so let's open up uh, Chrome. So the website itself is and let me actually go there. It is www.opensource- or hyphen socialnetwork.org. We're going to go ahead and click here on the green where it says download. Okay, so once you're in the download page, you'll notice that uh, you, they have a basic version and a premium version. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the basic version, uh, the release date. Uh, as of today would be July 13th of this year of 2016 and all you're going to do is just go ahead and click on download the file itself is fairly small uh, and there it is it, on the bottom left you can see it's already downloaded once that's done what we're going to do is upload that over to whatever you're hosting on mine, obviously, I, I do my own hosting so uh, for all the testing. So I, I just set it up in a way that uh, in a folder called OSSN, just to make it easier. And then all you're going to do is just take your files that you just downloaded over to your server. If you need help with that, let me know. Um, and I'll do a very... Uh, detailed video on how you set up all these all these types of sites um, but for now we're just gonna go ahead and move on just so we can move get uh, all the bells and whistles out of it so once you transfer everything all you would do is just highlight everything drag it over and then on my case I'm just gonna tell it to uh, overwrite and you can see the the reason why I do it locally because the transfer is very fast. It's on my gigabit network. Um, I don't have to wait uh, for my provider's uh, upload or download speed, even mine. Um, that's the reason why I do it that way. But once you're actually completely uploaded, we're going to go ahead and close FileZilla. Then we're actually able to start bringing it up. Okay, so once we're ready, we're going to be greeted by the actual installation prerequisites. And you'll notice that everything has to be blue. If you don't have everything blue, your the the next button is not going to show up. So um, if you you have issues with that, go ahead and uh, put them on the comments. I'll definitely try to help you with that um, and walk you through the whole thing. Um, yeah. But other than that, uh, if not, then obviously you could go to the uh, support or the community of a uh, open source. Uh, open source source network a uh, social network excuse me and then um, yeah but let's go ahead and move on so we're gonna click on next so here let me try to zoom in so we can actually see it better okay so here would be your database name so whatever your database username excuse me so I actually already copied it so I'm gonna put it here And then your database name. Okay, um, found what the problem was. Um, basically, what you have to do, and here, let, let me actually try to explain it. I rushed into it and then I had to actually, uh, yeah. So, because I know we're all gonna have the same, or a bunch of us are gonna have the same problem. So basically, you dump everything inside the folder. Okay, so if you look at my SSN, OSSN folder, then all the files are in there. And then outside of the installation folder, I created this folder here, OSSN. So you'll get an error telling you that uh, the, the file is unreadable or unwritable. It's because it's inside of the installation folder. 
So basically, the data files have to be outside. I don't know if that made sense. Um, but yeah, so as soon as you do that, then at that point, um, you're basically greeted by by this part right here. So I'm going to create my admin. Okay, so first name is going to be freelance. Okay, once that you enter all the info, you click on next, and then you're going to be greeted by this. Uh, so the social network, network has been installed. You click on finish, and now we should be greeted. Yes, now we're actually greeted by the administration side of it. So on the administration side of it is where you're going to log in as the user that just you just created, which was mine was free. Freelance tech, and then my password. And here we go. So, unused users, components, uh, or even it gives you a flush cache. Um, there's nothing in there. And yeah, hopefully, this video helps. I'm definitely going to get deeper into it. Um, and Oh, I know what's going on. Yeah, there it is. I hadn't actually um, allowed, I, I block a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, it actually looks pretty sweet. Um, definitely looking forward to uh, going through the whole thing. Give me the next couple of days. I'll go ahead and find all the tweaks to it and I'll see you on the next one. Actually, you know what? Before before I sign out, let me sign out of this, and I should be able to go here. Yeah, this is what people are going to be greeted by. So basically, this is the home folder. Let me open it on Chrome, and we'll see exactly what it's going to look like. Oh, oops. Looks nice. Literally, it, it looks very polished. So I'll definitely get deeper into it in the next couple of days. Um, but again, if you have any questions, feel free to put it on the comments uh, or shoot me an email. And I normally reply within 24 hours. Um, but yeah. All that good jazz, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.